and welcome to my YouTube video. So how do you make your paintings more dramatic then? Well, it all starts with your reference photo. Does that need a bit of work? So this is the one that I'm going to be painting, but I want to adjust it to make it a bit more interesting and dramatic to paint. I'm going to do this in Procreate. If you're not familiar with this program, check out my YouTube video about Procreate, which can be found on my channel, Sarah Halliday Art. If you do not have an iPad, but a regular tablet, try using a program like Sketchbook, which is free to download. That one works just as well. Two simple adjustments that will add drama to your reference photo then. The first one is cropping. A tighter crop is more dramatic because it gets you closer to your subject. So the surrounding environment very often adds nothing to your subject matter. And we can actually create better balance and composition by removing a lot of it. Here I am laying the harmonic armature over my cropped image to check I'm happy with the compositional balance of this new image, which I am. If you're not familiar with the harmonic armature, then have a look at this video on my YouTube channel, which gives you more information on tools you can use to help you with your composition. So secondly then, let's talk about the background. I'm going to adjust the background because the colour in this photo, the temperature is very cool. It makes me feel like the lemur is in the Arctic which is not what I really want. So I want to create a bit of contrast as contrast creates drama. So I'm going to warm this up a bit with a bit of khaki green. So all I'm going to do in Procreate is select a painting brush and paint over the top of this background. Now that's done, let's start painting. Just to note then on why I chose khaki green as my background colour, well, it's still in harmony with the colours present in the rest of the photo and it's a warmer temperature against the greys in its fur. So it allows the eyes to be the areas of highest saturation in terms of colour and contrast while still harmonising with the rest of the photo and giving me that colour shift of cool and warm that I want. So now we are painting, what else can we do to add drama? So the second thing that you can do is exaggerate your values. Placing your darkest values against your lightest values will always create drama. By cropping this image, we have increased the areas of darkest darks and lightest lights. I've given my canvas board a very light wash of raw sienna and terps before I started, and it helps give a subtle warmth to my very white areas. Number three then, contrast. So contrast is very important to creating drama, not only in values, but also in paint application as well. You want both thick and thin paint on one painting. It doesn't want to be all thick and it doesn't want to be all thin. So if you have thicker paint on your dark areas, you'll need to use less paint on your light areas or vice versa. It doesn't actually matter whether you choose to go thick or thin on your dark areas, but the paint application must be the opposite for your light areas. Because I chose a heavier paint application here for my darks, the wash of raw sienna plus terps in my underpainting meant that I could leave my lightest areas virtually untouched and they have a very lovely glow about them. Number four then, temperature. So placing warm temperature next to your cool temperatures, for example in this painting the background is khaki green which is warm, I have placed a bridging colour of ultramarine plus white in between my khaki green background and my lightest lights, which are also warm. I have also placed a cool grey in between my warm black, which I've added red to warm my black up, and my warm lightest lights. Remember, I added that wash of raw sienna plus terps all over my canvas, which made it warm to start with. 
By varying your temperatures across your canvas so that they adjust from warm to cool to warm, or alternatively from cool to warm to cool, creates contrast and interest in a painting and can help it be more dramatic. Number five then, saturated colours. So what you really need to do is you need to limit your use of your really saturated colours. So what I mean by that is where you use the colour in its purest form. So for example, you might use a lot of cadmium red or you might use a load of cadmium yellow or maybe a load of cobalt blue, very concentrated in one area. In this painting then, my most saturated areas of colour are in the lemur's eyes. We have quite a harmonious mix of colours elsewhere in the painting of green, blue and grey and the eyes are red-orange. So it's a strong colour opposite which helps create that friction and also drama in the painting. And here we have the finished painting. I hope you've enjoyed my video this week. Please check out my website, sarahhallidayart.com, where you'll find examples of my work and also details of classes, both online and one-to-one -one that I run. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel and I will see you for next week's video.